Assalamu alaikum. This podcast has been brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Help us spread the light of prophetic guidance to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Make a small donation at seekersguidance.org slash donate. As little as $10 a month can help people find life-changing guidance. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. We are in Ramadan, Shahr al-Siyam, the month of fasting. The primary objective of our fasting is لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ in order that we may attain unto taqwa. Taqwa implies devoutness, religiosity, God consciousness, godliness, and piety. Taqwa is a heightened state of the heart, an intensified level of mindfulness, which keeps one conscious of the divine presence, it motivates one to perform righteous actions and positive deeds, as well as to avoid those actions which are negative. As Abdullah ibn Mu'taz said, خَلِّ الذُّنُوبُ صَغِيرَهَا وَكَبِيرَهَا ذَاكَ التُّقَى Leave off wrongdoings, whether big or small, that is the way to taqwa. So fasting facilitates the pursuance of taqwa, as one is required to perform good deeds, control one's urges, conquer one's desires, and to discipline one's inner self. With discipline comes true control and the unleashing of inner power, the power to free oneself from the shackles of the base tendencies within ourselves. Taqwa, therefore, relates not only to the good we do, but the wrongs that we avoid. Many people pray and fast, but yet insult, denigrate, oppress others. That is not a reflection of taqwa or piety. Taqwa could thus be considered as the continuous process of character development coupled with Allah consciousness that leads to a degree of moral, social, ethical and spiritual elevation towards piety. Inna akramakum indallahi atqaakum. Piety is considered the pinnacle of human development. Those who fast are therefore referred to in the Quran as as spiritual wayfarers, because fasting is considered an exercise in pursuit of divine blessing, divine approval, and an attempt at manifesting the best of ethical values and virtuous practices. For the moral development, spiritual upliftment, and correct behavior, it is necessary for mindful believers that he or she ardently pursues taqwa or piety, but should never claim to be a possessor of piety. فَلَا تُزَكُّوا أَنفُسَكُمْ هُوَ أَعْلَمُ بِمَنِ اتَّقَى Do not ascribe righteousness or piety to yourself. Only Allah knows those who are truly pious. You see, Islam always encourages righteousness. Islam never promotes self-righteousness. Shukran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Thank you for listening. This podcast was brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the Global Islamic Seminary. Visit SeekersGuidance.org to access reliable Islamic knowledge taught by qualified teachers. We offer a wide range of courses, podcasts, articles, and a world-class answer service. Support us in spreading free, reliable Islamic knowledge to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Visit SeekersGuidance.org slash donate and make a small monthly commitment today. Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever guides someone to goodness will have a similar reward. So don't forget to share this podcast and spread prophetic guidance.